year three. Hope you're all well. Nice to see you again. It's Miss Sally and Rusty back again. Rusty's just got out of the shower, so he's still got his towel on to keep him dry. I think he looks rather lovely, don't you? We hope you've had a good week. We've had a nice week. We've played lots of games and just enjoyed each other's company, which has been really nice. Hope you've kept busy and uh, hope you've been doing your schoolwork and maybe a little bit of reading. That would be good if you did. Okay, so this week's story, a little look through to see what I thought you possibly would enjoy. And this is what I've come up with. So today we're going to read Twit, the owl who wasn't wise. So get yourselves comfortable and I hope you enjoy the story. Okay, here we go. Twit, the owl who wasn't wise by Steve Cole. Okay. Do you know what wise means? It's another word for clever. Right, chapter one. Owls are wise. That's what people say. Owls have big wide eyes, so they're always watching. Owls stay up all night, so they have lots of time to learn new things. Owls see in the dark, so they are very clever at spotting things. But there was once a little owl who was different. He lived with his brothers in a tree in the middle of a forest. And this little owl was called Twit. Twit had orange eyes, wonky wings and scruffy feathers. He was very nice and very kind, but he wasn't very wise at all. Twit's a twit, hoo hoo, hooted Twit's mean brothers, who were called Boggle, Bump and Baffle. Every evening the little owl would jump out from his bed with questions bursting out of his beak. Walk, what, where, when, who, twitter, who? Put in your beak, shouted Boggle. I, I didn't know my beak came with buttons, said Twit. Where's the buttonhole? Boggle, Bump and Baffle laughed and hooted. <laughs> they love to play tricks on poor Twit. Time to go hunting, said Baffle as the moon rose high. Oh yes, Twit flapped about. Where shall I hunt tonight? Bump smiled. Here was a chance for some fun. Well, I hear there's lots of tasty fish in the big round puddle. Twit gasped. <gasps> I've never caught a fish before. That's because you're a twit. Well, true, Twit said. How can I catch one? Bump smiled again. Oh, dive in and surprise them, of course. <gasps> Thanks, Bump, Twit cried. What a good idea. But of course it wasn't. No fish lived in the puddle. It wasn't deep enough. Twit dived in and bumped his head. Oh, wow, wow, he hooted. Where, where are the fish? They must be hiding. Twit flapped and splashed in the water until he was cold and tired and shivery. And then he flew back to the nest with a rumbling tum. Boggle and Baffle laughed with Bump, tricking their little brother was a hoot. The next night, Twit was very tired and that made catching bugs harder. Boggle watched Twit trying to catch an ant that kept running away. He smiled. 
What you need, Twit, is a bug buddy bear, said Boggle. A bug buddy bear loves helping other animals hunt for insects. She does all the hard work and you eat all the bugs. Twit blinked. Oh, I've never heard of a bug buddy bear. That's because you're a twit, said Boggle. True, Twit said. Well, where can I find one? There's a bug buddy bear in the dark, cold cave. Tell her to catch you some bugs and don't say please, bears hate good manners. Oh, thanks Boggle, Twit cried as he flew away to find the bug buddy bear. What a good idea. But of course it wasn't. There's no such thing as a bug buddy bear. A bear did live in the dark, cold cave, but she was a cross and mean bear. Twit flew into the cave. You there, go out and catch me some bugs for supper now. The big bear could not believe that something so small could be so cheeky. And with a terrible roar, and a swipe of her paw, she threw herself at Twit. Help, help! Twit flapped away as fast as he could, all the way back to his nest. Bump and Baffle cheered. Tricking their little brother was the best. Next day, Twit was still shaky. Cheer up, said Baffle. I know a place where bugs have parties. He took Twit outside and pointed to a small hole in the ground. There are hundreds of bugs down there having a party. Twit blinked. Oh, I've never heard of a bug party. That's because you're a Twit, said Baffle. Well, true, Twit said, but how do I get invited? Push your head inside the hole, said Baffle, trying not to smile. Thanks, Baffle, Twit cried. He was flapping off to the hole. What a good idea. But of course it wasn't. There were no bugs. Twit got his head stuck in the hole. He pulled and pulled, but he couldn't get out. Ha 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 laughed Boggle and Bump. Twit is such a twit. And they off they went back to their tree. Poor Twit. Suddenly, he heard something move in the dark. Hello, said a sleepy voice. Hello, Twit, Twit twittered. Who are you? I'm Norma the Vole. Your head is stuck in my home. I'm sorry, Norma. Twit wriggled and jiggled, but it was no use. I'm Twit, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, said Norma. Don't worry, Twit, I can dig you out. Oh, what good idea, Twit cried. And of course it was. Norma had Twit out in no time. Thump! Oh, Twit smiled at the little vole. Okay, guys, we're going to just quickly stop there. If you press part two, straight away, we'll carry on and finish the story.